This video will explore how to use Adobe InDesign to design an 8.5 by 5.5 inch notepad. Additionally, it will explore the process of duplicating the design to maximize a standard size letter sheet to create a bound notepad. Our design will be created in Adobe InDesign on an 8.5 by 5.5 inch document. The 8.5 by 5.5 inch design will then be placed two times on a standard US letter size of 8.5 by 11 inch piece of paper. The designs then get printed on 8.5 by 11 inch US letter and cut in half leaving two 8.5 by 5.5 designs. The cut designs are then aligned, clamped, and glued to create a bound notepad like the one shown here. In this exercise, we're going to use Adobe InDesign to create a simple notepad from an 8.5 by 11 inch sheet of paper. We're going to split an 8.5 by 11 inch sheet of paper in half so that when we print we have two notepads on each sheet of paper that then can be cut in half and glued. So the real size of our notepad will be five and a half inches wide by eight and a half inches in height. And we're going to create margins that are a quarter inch around the notepad. So let's begin. Once we're in Adobe InDesign, we'll hit Create New. We'll go over and change the units to inches. You can see it's already set but we'll type it in again. We want it to be five and a half inches in width and eight and a half inches in height. And we'll look down here at the margins. We can change them where they can be adjusted. We'll create margins that are a quarter inch all the way around. And hit create and here we have our five and a half inch by eight and a half inch document the next thing I'll do is import an image that I drew first on paper and then used Adobe capture to create and vectorize so I'll go to file and I have that file on my desktop so I'll go to file place here's that light bulb photo so I'll place that inside the document now you'll notice it doesn't fit in the box I drew correctly so we have to make it aware of the box and fit it proportionately so I'll go up to Object, Fitting, we'll go to Fit Content Proportionally, and that'll bring that image inside the box that I drew. So if we were to adjust the size of this, we would run into the same issue. We could go to Object, Fitting, Fit Content Proportionally, and bring it back to size. I'm going to make it a little larger. You'll notice that it stayed smaller. I'm going to go to object fitting and fit the content proportionally and I'm back up to size. Now I'm going to leave this light bulb in the center of the uh, notepad but I want to be able to write in the center of this notepad. So first thing I'll do is align it to the center and then I'm going to take the opacity of it down to about Oh, somewhere between 25 and 30 percent and I've got it set right now at 25 percent it'll serve as a watermark that is lightly printed on the notepad next we'll add some text I'll click the type tool and I'll draw a box Inside that box, I'll type my name. I'll go 
go get the type tool. Draw a box. I'll type my name. And I'll change the font to something else. change the size of that and now I'll add some spacing in between the characters works the same as in Illustrator or Photoshop so I'll adjust the tracking spread that out Shrink this box up a little bit and then use my alignment tool to center it up. I just click on that text box. I'll copy it and paste it so I get similar formatting. I'll bring it down to the bottom and I'll change type brilliant ideas and size that was a little large so I'll adjust bring that down below and I'll align that box to the center well here's the notepad that we're going to print but before we can set the eight and a half by eleven up we need to save this so I'll go to file save as let's see this is mr. Smith ideas. I'm going to save it as a. Oops. So now we're going to. The next step will be to export this. Go to File, Export. I'm going to export it as Adobe PDF. I'll call it Mr. Smith's ideas. I'm going to save that to my desktop. Hit save. export it and now we'll create the document that will actually be printed and we'll put two of these notepads there so new document change it to inches we'll have it be 11 inches wide by eight and a half inches in height we won't need much of a margin here because we already have margin set. Go to File, Place. I'll find my notepad I just created and click and I'll align it center and left and I'll copy and paste another one and I'll align that to the right hand side. I'll go to File. So what we have now is an 8.5 by 11 inch sheet of paper, a standard size letter sheet of paper that we can print, cut in half, and then bind by gluing one end. If we were to print 25 copies of this, we'd cut it in half and have 50 pages for our notepad. Let's export it. We'll go to File, Export. I'll call this Note Smith Notepad to print. Save it as a PDF on my desktop. Hit Export. And we have our notepad ready to print, cut, and bind. Here you can see two designs printed on a sheet of 8.5 by 11 inch paper. Here the paper sheets have been cut in half. A sheet of cardstock has also been cut in half. It will be used to support the back of the notepad. 
And here you can see how clamps and wood are used to stabilize the paper while glue applications dry. And the completed product.